Hi everyone, Megan here from Beguiled by Books, and today is all about nonfiction. Nonfiction is broad and has many subcategories, but it's really great when you can figure out what you like to read in nonfiction. So I'm going to tell you my top five nonfiction reads across many different subgenres. Let's get into it. So one of my favorite, all-time favorite nonfiction reads is Conspiracy by Ryan Holiday. I love this book. It is a wild ride. You can see here that the subtitle of this book is the true story of power, sex, and a billionaire's secret plot to destroy a media empire. This is a bonkers story, absolutely wild, and goes into the whole Hulk Hogan sex tape gawker media debacle and it's told in a way that's like a true uh it is a true story it's like a fiction story it's like a novel so it's called narrative nonfiction. is the genre it's my personal favorite subcategory of nonfiction. absolutely fabulous book i think it's the best thing ryan holiday has ever written and a must read if you're interested in uh, true stories that read like novels loved it five out of five definitely recommend it my next favorite nonfiction book of all time is going to be Brotopia by Emily Chang. Absolutely love this book. Um, it shares insights into the Silicon Valley tech culture and how that affects professional women. Um, Brotopia does a really, really wonderful job of exploring just bro culture in tech, the software industry, the Silicon Valley bubble in the software industry, and how that bro culture really alienates women for advancement, as well as alienates women, uh, women led companies and women founded companies. Absolutely fabulous book. If you are a women, a woman in software or tech, you need to read this book. Next up on one of my top five nonfiction reads is going to be The Year of Living Danishly by Helen Russell. I had the privilege of listening to her keynote at the 2018 TravelCon. Um, really love this book. It is part travel guide, part memoir, part self-discovery book, all about being open to whatever opportunities are presented to you and saying yes to things that maybe weren't part of your plan, but end up being some of the best decisions of your life. So really love this book if you want something uplifting and exciting and inspiring and just heartwarming and cozy. Love it. Next, my uh, one of my top nonfiction reads is going to be I Will Teach You to Be Rich by Ramit Sethi. Um, you may have heard of Ramit Sethi. He's probably one of the most popular personal finance guys out on the internet today. He's got quite the empire. He's got a TV show on Netflix that's a, worth a watch. Um, this book is fabulous. This is the 10th anniversary edition. The first one came out in 2009. This one came out in 2019. But this book will teach you the things that you wish school taught you about personal finance. Um, and best of all, Ramit Zaiti's work will help you take whatever your particular situation is and adapt his rules to your life so that you can automate your finances and be set up for success. A must read for everybody, but the younger you are, the better it is to read that now so you can start building those foundations today fabulous book has been super helpful for me and my life. Highly recommend it to anybody who wants to read about personal finance. Last but not least on my top five favorite nonfiction reads is going to be Dare to Lead by Brené Brown. Um, I've read a lot of Brené Brown's work and I think this is the pinnacle of her writing. This takes all of her research. Um, she has a PhD in sociology and so or PhD in social work, excuse me, PhD in social work. Um, so all of her research and all of her data, she has distilled into this book so that you can learn from it and be a leader in the workplace. Now, it is a workplace driven book, but I think every person I've recommended this to who has read it has become a better person because of that book as well. Highly recommend Dare to Lead. I think it's a fabulous book, whether you are an entrepreneur, whether you're working at a big corporate company or a startup. Uh, it's great if you are a trust fund baby, you can learn something from that as well. Definitely give Dare to Lead a try. I think you will really enjoy it. So those are my favorite 
nonfiction books of all time. Drop a comment, let me know what your favorite nonfiction books are, and go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button for me. Have a great day.